The referee for this contest, Mr. John Coyle. And in Billy Swear's corner, ladies and gentlemen, the chief second, Mr. Mickey Duff. Say Carl Taylor looks a, a tough little customer, and it might be that he gives Billy Schwer a, a little bit of a greater test than he's had in some other contests. Been around a bit as Taylor. His professional career goes back to 1987. has certainly got the support. in the green and yellow. He's got a good following, but he's sure very good. Well, it's a sort of record that encourages a good following. Is uh, that sort of fighter that is going to get people coming to see him. He's starting to get those very solid jabs going through already. I like the way it works behind his jab. It's, uh, it's a good solid jab. It works behind it, comes across with the right. And builds his way up into uh, getting him close and working away. From a Taylor a couple of years ago fought uh, John Davison and they lost on points but uh, it says something that he well, stayed the, uh, in distance with Davison. The international lightweight That's champion. Right, yeah. Not dissimilar in appearance. Uh. No, that's right. has got the, the height and reach advantage. In fact, Taylor is four, four pounds heavier and he managed to uh, just sting Schwer for a moment. Schwer doesn't want to underestimate him because he uh, looks a cool character, Miss Taylor. Cool and composed. Schwer has got such fast hands but it's difficult to keep out of the way of them for long. The first round. Trying to get inside. It's up to Schwer to get that jab going, keeping at arm's length. And Taylor getting a, a good solid jab in as well and now it's Schwer who's uh, not over keen to get out. More of the work. 
work is coming from Schwer. He's the one that's dictating it, but Taylor is a very competent opponent. Jab, that's just come straight roll the jab and uh, see the kid of shark and jab, jab, jab. He doesn't want to get involved too much with Taylor. It's a shame a clash of heads or anything like that to uh, spoil his record. Yes. I got the impression it was a, a good idea that he was taken the distance, what was it, in his last fight or last but one, last because one. it meant that he wasn't uh, carrying this tag of being the man that always finished it early. I'm sure he wasn't very pleased to see his record go, but uh, I think in the overall career pattern it might not have been a bad thing. Taylor's trying to settle him now by roughing him and Schwer's getting to work, and Taylor just launching himself at him, but Schwer using his good footwork, and there's a cut, I think it's over, and I think it's a bad oh, one yeah. over the right eye. Yeah, it looks a bad one. No, it's too bad. That's it. So, it's another win for Schwer, not necessarily in the most satisfactory manner. But if we have a look at uh, Carl Taylor's eye...